Hi, this is Frank from Metric Dynamic. How are you doing? So, did you find it difficult to control your aircraft? And are you still worrying about the flight just because of low battery capacity of your mini GCS? Now, we recommend you the Metric Dynamic MC2 ground control station. It is solid, it is convenient, it's easy to use, and will make you an easy and enjoyable flight. And now you're looking at the Metric Dynamic MC2 ground control station. And this is the uh, back finish. So this is the Pelican brand, you see? And that's the reason why it is solid. And it is waterproof, dustproof, and jar free. You don't have to worry about it. You're not, you're not gonna really broke it, right? It's just tough and solid. Look at that. And we have some other different ports uh, around this ground control station. And uh, let me introduce you. Come, please. So, you see this port, this is the power port. So you plug the wire in it to charge the battery inside. And the power can also really charge this laptop. So as long as the power doesn't really shut up, you can still always use this computer. And here, this is the internet port. So you plug the wire in it and it's connected to the internet. You, with the internet, you can update your maps. Here. This is the HDMI port, all right? You plug the wire inside, and you're able to have an extra large computer or uh, screen, whatever you want. And here, come on. This cord is the ATA cord. So you plug the, this end of the wire in it, and you see the line right over here, and you plug the other end into the ATA. And when you press the power button on, the ATA is connected. It's very easy to use. So open up the case and now you're gonna see the inner side. So basically you will see two panels. One panel over here, it is a laptop. And the other panel over here, this is the monitor, okay? So uh, let me just show you the first panel. So this is the laptop computer. And you use this computer to draw the waypoints, to control the aircraft, and also to give out missions when emergency happens, in case. And what's good about this laptop is that it has this lettering mat. So you can really control this mouse very smoothly, right? It's gonna be very, very easy for you to draw the waypoints. And one special thing is that, look, there's a little box right over here. So when you're not using this little mouse, you put it inside and you're not gonna lose it. And you're gonna use it, you just take it out of from this box and it's easy, isn't it? Now you're looking at the second panel. So basically this is the monitor and you're able to see all these images sent back from the gimbal. And you may wonder, okay, so how do we control the gimbal? Well, we use this little joystick over here. So you turn this joystick back and forth, left and right, just to control its direction. It's almost the same as you're playing sort of video, uh, aircraft video games uh, on your PC or laptop. It's very easy. And we have all these buttons over here to control all these uh, gimbals. And let me just show you the first four buttons. So this is the control panel. You see, you have all the buttons over here. It's just easy to use. So let's just focus on these four buttons. First, if you want to track any target on the screen, you just tap on the screen. Now let's just move on a little bit. Uh, for example, I want to track this house. All right, tap it. Now it's tracked. So what if you want to end track? You see the end track, you see the track of button over here? So you press it, now you end track. Now, see it's not in the center. So you press the recenter button to move the gimbal in the center. So, see the photo shot, and you press the Photoshop button to take a photo. And you may wonder, hey, what if I want to record a video? It's easy. You see the REC button here? Press it, now you start recording. Now you press it again to finish recording. And let's just focus on the three other buttons on this side. So first is the discipline mode. Basically you have five modes to choose. So first is the normal RGB image mode. And if you press it, and this is the thermal mode. This is black and white. And when you press the thermal mode button, and you see the normal thermal mode. And when you press it, this is the third mode over here. And you have the fourth mode. And if you press it down here, see, you have the large image on the side and the thermal mode set in the center. If you press it again, it backs to the normal mode. And here is the gimbal power button. So if you press down this button, the gimbal loses power, so, and the head drops down. If you press the power again, 
Now it powers up and it begins to shoot the image. In short, the MC2 ground control station is your best choice. It is solid and all these control panels is just easy to use. Everybody can fly an aircraft with this ground control station. Thank you for watching. For more product information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to metricdynamic.com for more information. I see you next time. Bye bye.